Hey, mister! Well, didn't you see me signaling? I'm a cop, sir. Right, you're a cop. Now, look, can you back this up and move it down the hill with officer, the rest of the traffic? Officer, you don't understand. I'm trying to understand. Look, Lieutenant, here. don't worry about your car. The officer will move it for you. Officer, right now. Lieutenant? This way, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, sir, may I? Oh, sir, the uh, vehicle's point of descent is right over there. You'll notice the skid marks, of course. These are the, uh, these are the second set of skid marks here? No, sir. The second set is right over here. It's a bigger, heavier vehicle. Of course, I don't have to tell you that, sir. Well, please, you could tell me. Well, the smaller vehicle is the vehicle that descended into the canyon. Here, I'll show you the quickest way down. It's a little uh, steep. Yes, sir. But I'll tell you, it was the quickest way down. Oh, yes, by far. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Thank you. This is the car right here, sir. Subject vehicle of Jaguar, registered to subject person of last night's missing person report, Anthony Goodland. Male, Caucasian, residing 11 High Tower Road. Discovered approximately one hour ago by two juveniles taking a shortcut to school. You want their names, Lieutenant? What? Who? I'm sorry? The juveniles. I have their names right here when you need them. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yes, sir. Soil moisture tests beneath subject vehicle indicate residual dew, indicating in turn that subject vehicle has been here since last night. That is substantiated by subject vehicle's electric clock, which stopped running at 1218. Bullet hole in window on driver's side, but no blood, indicating preliminarily that bullet missed. Bullet slug lodged in back of passenger seat, lights, ignition, emergency brake, all off. <laughs> well, sir, guess I don't have to tell you what this all adds up to. That adds up to? Uh, yes, you should tell me. As I reconstructed, sir, Mr. Goodland, was uh, halted by the shot you were looking at there, forced out of the car, which was then pushed over the side, this to conceal the fact that he was grabbed by person or persons unknown. That jibe with your thinking, sir? Uh, I was wondering, could you tell me your name? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Detective Sergeant Frederick Wilson, sir. Please forgive my rudeness. No, that's perfectly all right. Uh, one year's experience homicide, two years advanced police school, Berkeley, returned the city homicide, 6 July. Well, yes. well, you're a very efficient officer. I can see that. Thank you, sir. Right. Uh, with permission from Captain Ritchie to work right alongside you, sir. You're going to work along with me? I uh, do hope that's acceptable to you, sir. I, uh, Captain Ritchie did say you were fast becoming a legend in the department. Oh, well, Captain Ritchie said that? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh. oh. Uh, do you have a pocket knife? Yes, sir. Would you hold this for me? Oh, certainly, sir. I wonder why he said that. I beg your pardon? Uh, Captain Ritchie, he said that? About you? Oh, repeatedly, sir. I wonder why he said that. Thank you. Oh, thanks. I wonder if you could get this over to the crime lab as soon as possible. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, this fella have a wife? Does she know about this? I suggested they wait until you had made your preliminary report, sir. Oh, very good. Uh, Sergeant, I wonder if you could hang around here and see if you can locate any more physical evidence, something that might uh, do us some good. Could you do that? Certainly. Sir. Just one more thing. 